we go to the next topic on page 138, Jhana Attainment Cognitive Series. In Pali, Jhana Samapati Viti. Samapati means attainment. A person who has attained Rupa Vajra Jhana may enter the meditative absorption corresponding to that jhana whenever he wishes. If he practices well, he may attain the jhana of the absorption instantly and remain in the absorption state for one hour, two hours, three hours, etc., up to seven days at a time. During this absorption, the jhana chaita occurs repeatedly and spontaneously focusing the attention on the countersign of the casino. So he will not hear any sound nor know any other sense object during the jhana attainment. So when you are in the jhana state, only jhana chaita will be arising. So as not the, the one mind, not this jhana chaita, the mind that are rising, they are focusing their attention on the counter sign, then they will not know any other, not any other objects. So they will not hear any other sound. No, they not know even like a mosquito biting them or them, they don't know. In the next paragraph, a person who attains all the Rupa Vajra and Arupa Vajra Jhanas may enter the Jhana attainment corresponding to any Jhana he likes. But he must enter the first Jhana first. Then eliminating Vitekka, he enters the second Jhana. Then eliminating Vichara, he enters the third Jhana and so on. So it will be just you know, climbing a ladder. So you know, the, the ladder of jhana you know, has nine steps. <laughs> five rupa vajra jhana, five steps. And then four uh, rupa vajra jhana, another four steps. So you know, when you want to develop you know, the jhana attainment, so you have to begin from the first step, you know, from the first step. So that means, you know, for the first step, you have to meditate on the kasina meditation. You know? So as you have already attained the jhana, so these jhana are developed, you know? so you have been practicing developing this jhana very often by focusing on the counter sign. So the counter sign for Rupa Vajra jhana is the infinite, you know, infinite space, we say. No, no, no. The, the counter sign is, so we are uh, like reflecting on the earth, on the earth. So we add the earth disk, and then we get the counter sign of the earth disk. And then we extend it you know, to fill all in finite place. So we still you know, the, reflect it as uh, the, uh, the, uh, the patawi, patawi when we reflect meditation. To attain the, not to develop the Rupa Vajra Jhana, you just see that expanded counter sign of the Art Kasina. And then you reflect Patawi, Patawi, Patawi to develop the first Jhana. So if you, you want to remain in this Jhana, just you know, remain in it. How long you like? One hour, two hours? No? So then you, know, you come out of the Jhana. Now when you want to go to the second Jhana attainment, so first you develop the first jhana, as soon as you develop it, you come out of it. And then you again, you know, the focus your attention that expanded counter sign again, but this time you reflect with the Viteka. So you attain the second jhana. Then if you go to higher, you, you, know, you have to come out of the second jhana. And then you know, the eliminate Viteka, Vichara, and you know, reflect on that counter sign again. Not to attain the third jhana. So in that way, no, you go, you can go up to the fifth jhana. So we give you no, the jhana attainment vichi below, in the middle of the page. So for manda panya, slow with the person, it is na dhamma pa unu goja. 
Now, up to the first jhana, it is the same as jhana cognitive series, the same as jhana cognitive series. The only difference here is that jhana jhita arises many times. So, if you, you, know, you developed the jhana attainment for one hour, that means you remain in the jhana state for one hour, only this jhana jhita keep arising for the whole hour. No, no other jhita arise. Just this jhana, 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 jhana arising. So that means you are in the jhana state. Always jhana jhita is arising. So no, when you come out of it, then no, the jhana jhita stop, and then bhavinga jhita arises. No, then you are out of the jhana now. So take up and your person, na dhamma, so you eliminate prikama. And you can unu go ja 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 many times as before, and then you get bowinga. So we can read no, the next paragraph for attainment of rupa vajra jhana. The pati bhagana meter of kasina, not the counter sign of kasina. Please read. The counter sign of kasina appears at the mind door, causing the light continuum to vibrate two times and becomes arrested. So this is nada. Then Manodwara Vajana observes Abhati Bhagana meter and decides whether it is good or bad. So this is ma. Now we finish up to nada ma. Then one of the two, Somanasa Sakatam, Nyana Sambhyutam Mahakusala Chaita. And you have to take Upikha Sagatam to enter the fifth jhana. No? Functions as Prikama. Again, we omit this Prikama for Tikha Panya, quick witted person. And then after Prikama, we get Upachara Anuloma Kudrabhu. Then Rupa Vachara Kusala, first jhana Chaita or second jhana, or third jhana, or fourth jhana, or fifth jhana. Now, whichever jhana that you like to, att uh, to attain. No? So, that jhana no, will function many times as apana javana. So, javana jhita will arise no, many times. Ja, ja, ja. So, when the aesthetic absorption is over, that is, when you want to come out of that from jhana attainment, Bhavinga Chaita arises, and Bhavinga Chaita keep on arising one after another as before. So, we go to number two. No? At the bottom of page 138, attainment for attainment of Arupa Vajra Jhana. The infinite space Agasa unfolded by the disappearance of the Pati Bhagana Meter. So this Pati Bhagana Mina still no, refers to that expanded counter sign. No, expanded that counter sign of Patuvi Kasina. Not the Kasina expanded counter sign. Because when we want to go to Arupa Jhana, we attain, we develop the fifth Jhana first. Not the fifth Rupa Vajra Jhana by meditating on that expanded counter sign. Now you come up from the, the fifth jhana, now you again no, the meditate. But this time you neglect this expanded counter sign. So you focus on the infinite space beyond this on the infinite counter sign. So that's what we say here. The infinite space, akasa, unfolded by the disappearance of the Pati Bhagana meter. Unfolded mean? When that, you know, the expanded counter sign disappear, then you know, the infinite space will appear. So we take this infinite space. So, no, to, and then in bracket we say take the corresponding object for the higher arupa vajra jhana. So actually, for the second arupa vajra jhana, you have to focus on akasa nanjayarana jhana chaita. So in this case, you have to develop the Agasa Nanjana Chaita first, and then focus on that Jana Chaita you know, to to attain 
the 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 next the, the light D, no, the Wenya Nanja Yerana Jana, no, for example. So that means we have to take the corresponding object of each jhana. Like in the Arupa jhana, the, the, the object details are different. So the first Agasa Nanjayana jhana takes that in finite space. And the, the, the next one, Vinya Nanjayana jhana, takes this Agasa Nanjayana jhita as its object. And when you go to that Ayupa, the, you know, the, the third Arupa jhana, it takes nothingness. That is, by ignoring this Agasananjana Jaita, it takes nothingness as its object. And then for the fourth Arubhava Jana, you have to take this third Arubhava Jana Jaita. So, you know, that the, the object, you have to take the corresponding object, focus on that. Just as you focus on that, if you can, your mind can remain focused one hour, two hour, three hours or more, then we see, no, you are, you you can develop that jhana attainment. No, it's the same, the same as developing that jhana first, the jhana again. So when that jhana arises now, it arises many times. No, it arises many times, and it, it arises many times because we have to practice. No, before we develop this the rupa vajra the jhana attainment. So, no, uh, when we say you have to, no, to, to practice the jhana you are doing, to be very skillful. So we have to practice in five ways, in five ways. No, previously I just tell you, no, practice is to be skillful on that, which I, I just say that. But really you have to uh, practice it in five ways. No, so the one, the first way, no, the first, I think we, we, we have here, Oh no, we don't have. We 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 don't have here. Where do I I is uh? No, when we go to the second jhana, what is jhana? So after. So we 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 don't have. So after attaining the first jhana and go to the second jhana, no, five materials here. So we don't we don't mention here. No, I think we mentioned only in Visuddhi Mecca. So after attaining the first jhana, no, you have to practice to be very skillful on that jhana. And the, the first way is we have to, no, the, the, to know or to discern the jhana factors, no, the jhana factors, to reflect on the jhana factors. So, like in the first jhana, you have five jhana factors, but we are the vitaka, vichara, piti, sukha, ikagata. You have to reflect on them, no? Very quickly. You practice to be able to reflect on them very quickly. And in the second practice, we have to develop that jhana again and again. So that we can develop the jhana, no? Any moment, we can develop it. So, and in the third, we call, no, it's a adhyayana, the wasi bo, wasi bo. We call wasi, wasi. So in the in the third jhana, so no, we developed the jhana, and we we make a determination: may I be remain in the jhana state, no, for five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. So we do practice like that. No, at first we 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 uh, we develop the jhana, and we have to come out from the jhana. Now, as you practice well, you say, may I be in the jhana state for five minutes. If you are successful the next time, you say for ten minutes. The next time for thirty minutes. And the next time for one hour, two hour, three hour, you can increase. So we say, if you practice well, you can remain up to seven days at a time, we say. So we call it not a task skill. And the fourth skill is to come out of not that so actually when you are remaining for one, no, one hour, two hour, three hour, that is actually jhana attainment. That is jhana attainment, no? the, what we are telling now. And then with the full scale is to come out of that jhana. So again we practice. Now I developed the, 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 the first rupa by jhana. And may I come out of that jhana no, at 6 p.m. So now you develop the jhana. And right at 6 p.m. you come out. No? 
if you are no, they are the successful, you can do again. So may my, I will develop the second jhana. May I come out at midnight. <laughs> so <laughs> at midnight you come out of the jhana. So that is the, uh, the fourth scale. And the fifth scale is to reflect on that jhana chaita very quickly. No? So that is that is why we say. So now the jhana jhana attainment is uh, is uh, is the strike me. No, developing that jhana attainment. And then how long we like to, to, to live, <laughs> to maintain there, so we can live, no, we can maintain there. So now, we, as you not understand, we can just continue reading. Please read uh, this number two again. The infinite space, akasa, unfolded by the disappearance of Pati Bhaga Nimita, or take the corresponding object for the higher Arupa Vajra Jhana, enters the avenue of the mind door. So when we say enters the avenue of the mind door, it just means that no, that the infinite space appears in the mind door. That's all. No? When we say enters in the avenue, <laughs> into in the way, no? into the way leading to your house. <laughs> so actually, you know, the, the, just say, you know, when that uh, infinite space appears in the mind door, no? So it will cause the light continuum to vibrate two times and becomes arrested. That you know is nada, not nada. Then Manodwara Vajana Ma observes the infinite space and decides whether it is good or bad. Then one of the two Upika Sahagatam Jnana Sambhyutam Maha Kusala Chaita. So only here, no, instead of you know, the somanasa in the in the no, when we read number one. So instead of somanasa there, we just say here upika sagatam, because all arupa vajra jhanasa upika sagatam. So mahakusala chaita should also be upika sagatam. So upika sagatam jnana samyutam mahakusala chaita functions as prikama. We omit this for take panya, quick witted person. And then upachara anuloma and godrabu. Then agasanandjayana kusla chaita or the higher arupa vajra jana kusla chaita that you like to not to attain will arise and functions many times as apana javana. When the meditative absorption is over Winga Chaita will keep arising. The next topic is Super Normal Knowledge Cognitive Series. Well, Super Normal Knowledge. <laughs> it is Abhinya. Super Normal Knowledge is called Abhinya. Cognitive Series, Apana Vichy. So if you can develop no, these five Rupa Vajra Jhana and four Rupa Vajra Jhana, no, based on Kasina meditation. Then no, you can meditate on water Kasina, water Kasina meditation on, on water Kasina. No, so water Kasina is just no, a bowl of water. No, so you have to focus on the, on the water instead of the art. Now you focus on the water. You meditate in the same way. So you say apo, apo, apo. Then you can develop all these nine jhana very easily in one day. You can do it. No, once you have attained this in the art casino, then you can develop on water casino, fire casino, the fire casino, air casino, and then full color casino. This is brown, and then yellow, red, and white. No, so casino. And then they call it uh, the uh, limited space casino and light casino. So ten casino. So you de develop all these nine jhana, nine jhana, nine jhana, all the ten casino. Then you practice you know, to develop this various jhana on this casino. You know? So in many ways. So actually in fourteen ways. And uh, the ways are described by the Buddha and they are mentioned in the with Sujin Mega. So even here, you know, I, I include here in this book how to practice in 14 ways. If you are interested and you want to get the, the super power, then you can, you can do it. 
So if you are very skillful in developing this jhana, so we say you attain perfection no, in developing mental concentration. Then no, you can you can you can get this the supernormal power. So there are five kinds of supernormal power. So no, we were described here in the book. No, by practicing on those developing those jhanas on the ten casina, we say we can develop supernormal power. So there are five mundane supernormal powers. No, we read number one, Eighty Vita Abhinyana. So we define it as various divine powers, such as being one person, he becomes many identical persons. And having become many no, identical persons, he can again become one person. And without being obstructed, he passes through walls and mountains, and just as if through the air. In the earth, he dives and rises again, just as if in the water. He walks on water without sinking, just as if walking on the earth. Cross-legged, he floats through the air, just as a winged bird. So, for example, if I attain this supernormal power, I don't need to buy the air ticket from Yamadu here. <laughs> I can just fly. <laughs> Number two is Dipa Sota Abhinyana. So we call this divine ear that can hear sounds both heavenly and human sounds far and near. So you now if we can develop this divine uh, divine ear, so you now we can listen to several people, you know, to the people, well, what they are, what they are saying. You, know, you can even hear sound from all over the world. That means you don't need to use the telephone anymore. <laughs> so they can see, they can even hear sound from the celestial realm. So if you can, you can have divine eye to see them, and you have divine ear to, to hear them, you can talk with them. <laughs> Number three, Dipa Chakku Abhinyana. No? Dipa Chakku is called divine eye. That can see objects both heavenly and human, far and near, hidden or exposed. It can see beings in the lower abodes or woeful abodes, as well as in the celestial abodes. It sees beings vanishing and reappearing, low and noble ones, Beautiful and ugly ones. It sees how beings are reappearing according to their deeds karma. So no, by this we mean you can see no, those beings who are dying. Dying means they are about to die. About to die. You can see. No, as you can see all over, no, all over the world with the chakku, the deeper chakku. You can see all over the world. And you can concentrate on anyone you like to. No, on anyone you can lie to. So you don't need to, to, to need the television no, to, to watch that uh, the Premier uh, Football League. No, you can just no, but, uh, uh, see it by your divine eye. So no, you can also see the American President or whoever you want to see. No, you can see. No? And then, no, so we had with this uh, divine eye. So you can see you know, those people who are about to die, who are about to die, you can see them. And when they die, you can also see where they are reborn. That's where they reappear, so where they are gone. And you can also know the karma, you know, that condition, this new rebirth. New rebirth. Number four, Parachaita Vijjanana Abhinyana. And this is also called Cheto Priya Jnana. It is the ability to know other people's minds in many ways, or to penetrate the minds of others to read their minds. So if you have this, you know, this the supernormal power, also by looking at the mind of you know, the several persons, you know what are their intentions. 
Now what are the intentions, what they are thinking about, so you know it. Number five, Uppi Niwasa Nusati Abhinyana. The ability to remember many former existences. Just as one bird, two birds, three birds, or one hundred birds, one thousand birds, five thousand birds, etc. So when you can see your past existences, no, you can see what is your future, what you perform no, in this life, and at what age you die, etc. You can see in detail. So, no, usually when you get this the supernormal knowledge, you can see only your past existences, no, not other people's uh, the past existences. And like in the case of the Buddha, he can he can know not the past existence of every person, no? so uncountable past existence of your you he yeah, can see, and it is quite you know, the remarkable when I talk about that the American man, the American 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 man we call Edgar Casey. So when he was in the hypnotic stage. No, he can read no, your your, uh, your past existence. So he can read, no, he can see other people's past existences. So in that case. So this is uh, the, this supernormal power. Now the Abhinya Viti is described here. Na Dhamma Pa Unugo Bay. So in the Jhana Cognitive Series, no, we write the the witty form the witty form na dama pa unugo ja. Remember? On you know, so instead of that ja now we just write bain. That you know, B H I N Bain is uh, you know, stands for abhinya. That is super normal wisdom, you not know, super normal knowledge, abhinya. So that abhinya, super normal knowledge. No? Associate with the fifth Rupa Vajra Jhana. So that means, actually this Bain means a Binya that associate with the fifth Rupa Vajra Jhana. No? With this fifth Rupa Vajra Jhana. You, you can see here, no? in the Chaita Chat, no? we write Bain, B-H-I, B, no? the in front of this the fifth Jhana. So that means when the fifth Jhana associate with these the supernormal knowledge, no, it is called the Kusla Abhinyana Chaita. No, Kusla Abhinyana Chaita. Now suppose no, you attain the supernormal power, no, Ichivita Abhinya. <laughs> Ichivita Abhinya. Now we say you create, you can create anything you want to. You can create anything you want to. So what do you want to create? No. You can create, so they say, 1,000 forms of yourself. No, 1,000 forms of yourself. And you can create no, anything you want. No, even ornaments, no, food, no, and then clothing. No, even no, just <laughs> like the gold, no, you can create, no, they say. So it is a the tea time now. So you can create, say, 100 cups of ice cream. <laughs> No, you can create. So the way they do is, no, if you want to create something, you have to develop the fifth jhana on Patavikasina meditation. No, you develop the fifth jhana, and you come out of the jhana. Then, no, with with close eye, try to see what what you want to create. No, if you want to create no one hundred the ice cream no, ice cream cups. Try to see the 100 ice cream cups. No, so whatever you want to, very big one, no? <laughs> it's not. So anything you want to, you to create. So, no, so let these, no, the 100 cups of ice cream, no, be created. So then you make the wish. No, no. So here we, we say the way we make the, the, the wish. No, so the, at the end of the first paragraph, before that, Abhinya Viti. Let there be, one thousand identical persons of myself. And now you can see, let there be one hundred cups of ice cream. <laughs> or one hundred, you know, the hamburgers. <laughs> so, whatever you want to. 
So after making the wish, no, you have to what what you want to create. You have to see it with your mind eye. So no, by no the focusing on that created thing that you have created with your mind. So you develop the fifth jhana again, the fifth dupava jhana. Then this uh, the abhinya jhana will arise then. So no, that created form appears in the mind door. Then when it appears in the mind door. No, the winga stream vibrates two times as nada. Then it is cut off. Then mano dwara vajana. No, what apprehend that that created object? What what take notice of that uh, the created uh, objects and decides whether they are good or bad. And then no, the maha kusala, no maha kusala nyana samyuta. But you have to take upikha sagata. Because the fifth jhana is upikha sagatam, so the upikha sagatam jnana samyutam mahagusla chita will arise four times as parikama, upachara, anuloma, and kotabu. And after that, the fifth rupa vajra jhana will arise, accompanied with that supanobo, the power, abhinya. Then, when it dissolves, now, as soon as that the, the abhinya kusla chaita arises, what you want to create appears, appears. Now you can give one cup each. No, so you can you can eat it, you can drink it, the the coffee, just the real coffee, just the real ice cream, very very delicious. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the way to create. <laughs> For example, if you really attain the supernormal power, then no, you will be very, very powerful. No, for example, no, like one of Indonesian attain this supernormal power, Adivita Abhinyana. You you need not be afraid of no, the Chinese or the Americans. So even if the, you have the war with Americans. <laughs> So American no, planes are coming, so coming to you. So you just make a binya, no? May all the planes fall down. <laughs> <laughs> or you can create. So may there be, no? So many planes, so you can create many planes. And then may this plane, no? The, the shoot down all those American planes, so they will shoot down. So that means you will be very, very powerful. <laughs> so if you say, would that be really possible? No? So no. it is possible. It's possible. No? But usually those who are, um, like the Pao Chiaro said, well, if you want to, to learn how to develop this, the, the super normal power, I will teach you. No, as as uh, the written in Swissuti Mecca. And I think you will no you will succeed the Buddha's uh, the the Pauchara said. Because in Myanmar, even nowadays we can we still see some monks no flying in the air. No, so many people could see monks not flying in the air, no, even now. So one lady so actually in the in Pau Center, no, as far as I know about Three lady teachers. So after finishing all the, the vipassana meditation in power, so they try to uh, the, to learn the, the supernormal power. So Pao Charo usually you know, taught the the, the the harmless one first. <laughs> so that is the not pubbe niwasa nusati abhinya to see your past existences. So one lady teacher, she was the principal of the high school, and she was you know, the a, a spinster. A spinster means unmarried lady, you no know, unmarried lady. So she was unmarried you know, up to up till now. So she was over sixty now actually, and she was still staying in the Pauk Meditation Center you know, in the Molomyai. Still, she was there, and now she was very bright in meditation. No, she advanced very quickly. So when she developed that supernormal power no, of seeing the past existence, 
So she, she you know, look at her past existence, one after another, so up to 30 existences. So in all these 30 existences, you know, in some existence she was born as, you know, as lady, in some time she was born as man, and also sometimes as celestial being. So in whatever form you know, she, she was born, she, she found that she was always spinster or bachelor. <laughs> never married. So, no, so those people who are not married now, so that means no, they, no, they don't like to marry in past existence also. <laughs> they, no, they become so the bachelor and spinster actually. So after looking about that existence, she didn't want to look anymore. So she don't develop that uh, abhinya anymore actually. Well, we can finish only seven pages in this section. So we have 11, 11 pages to finish in this chapter. So we take a deep break for half an hour. And please come, no? we meet again at 4.10. No? But absorption cognitive series. No? Mega apana viti. So to develop no, the path absorption, there's mega and pala. We have to undertake inside meditation, we call vipassana. So I've already told you once how we go into vipassana after attaining the right concentration. No, like in the described in Visuddhi Magga, after you attain like the jhana concentration, then when you go to vipassana, you have to take the four element meditation. No, defining the four elements, but we are body, jaw, wire, because our body is mainly made up of these four elements. So when can you can, no, the, uh, the, the sun, no, the sun means see clearly these four elements in the body, in the whole body. You can break down the body into small particles. We call material groups, no, we call material groups very, very tiny particle. So they are of the size of electron protons, actually. And they are rising no, very quickly, arising and dissolving. But they are not ultimate materiality yet. So you have to define, no, the, the, to analyze each material group to know their, no, the component ultimate materiality. So in each materiality, no, at least they have no, eight, the basic materiality, we call patwi abo di jo and then wana is the, the visible form, ganda is the smell, rasa the taste, and no, the oja is the nutriment. So they have at least no, eight materiality. When they are the kama born materiality, like we say, no, clear eye materiality. So in addition to this eight, they also have no, the materiality light, light materiality, jivita rupa. And also the chaku pasada, we call it. No, chaku pasada, sota pasada, gana pasada, they are made up of in this materiality. So that, no, that means you have to see all the material, no, ultimate materiality. No, in this body, and you can see them arising and dissolving very rapidly. Then you have to do the mental meditation. That is, you have to no, discern all these cognitive, no, cognitive series in the eye door, in the ear door, the nose door, the tongue door, the body door, and the mind door. And then you have to analyze each, no, each mind into their components to know the consciousness and the mental factors that make up each mind. So all this no, ultimate mentality, no, the chaita and the seeker, so they are also arising and dissolving very rapidly. No? Though they don't have any form and shape, but when you have the right concentration, like the jhana concentration, and you analyze no, these and you, when you analyze, no, you can know them, then you can you know, with the, you can see they are rising and dissolving very rapidly. So you, know, you have to see the rising and dissolving of mentality, materiality to do vipassana. 
So when they are rising and dissolving all the time, you know they are impermanent, then you reflect anicca, 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 impermanent, impermanent, impermanent for some time. And then, you know, taking the suffering nature, you know, that is being tortured incessantly, continuously, by the dissolution of this mentality, materiality, is really suffering. So, you, know, you reflect dukkha, 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 there is suffering, 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 for some time. And then also taking the characteristic of not self. No? As all this mental material, they are rise and dissolve, rise and dissolve. So nothing permanent that can be called the soul or the life entity no? exists. So that, that means no? since everything that makes us our body and mind, rise and dissolve, rise and dissolve, no person, no I. So that is called not self, anatta. So you reflect another, another, another for some time. So no, we keep on rotating no, the reflecting anicca, anicca, sometimes dukkha, dukkha, another, anatta, anatta, sometimes in various ways you have to do it. No, in Visuddhi Magga they describe it. So by doing reflecting like that you can develop no, ten insight knowledges. So the insight knowledge is about this materiality, mentality arising in our body and mind. Then, now when you can attain this ten insight knowledges, then automatically Megha, Chaita and Pala Chaita will arise. So when Megha, Pala Chaita arises, the cognitive series no, arises as shown on page 141, the second paragraph there. Now if you look in the no, on the wiki form described in that page, you will see it is very similar to the jhana cognitive series. So for mandapanya, slow no, wisdom person, we have na da ma pa u nu ko. In the jhana cognitive series, we have ja, no, na da ma pa u nu ko ja. Now instead of that jhana, we have mecca. No, we have mecca. And no, this mecca chaita, no, soon after it arises and dissolves, it produces its effect. No, we call fruition or the pala chaita. So pala chaita arises two times. Then it is finished. No, cognitive city is finished. And only bhavinga chaita will arise after that. In Tekha Panya, no, the quick wisdom person. So, na dhamma and no prikama. So, we have upachara, anuloma, gudrabhu, and then megha. And we have three pla no, as the result. Three pla and then puinga chaita arises. And just like in the jhana cognitive series, pa unu go, no, these four are mahakusala chaita. And their meaning is given at the bottom of that page. No. <clears throat> pa means prikama, preparation of mega chaita to arise. U is upachara, proximity of mega, that means it arises near the mega chaita. Nu is anuloma, adaptation or connection. It harmonizes the lower chaitas with the upper chaitas. So these are the same as the we have seen in the jhana chaita. We just change jhana into mega here. And gudrabhu, no, go is gudrabhu, the chaita that cuts the puddhujana lineage. So puddhujana means whirling. No, the whirling means who is not a noble person yet. No, a noble person yet and who has a lot of defilements. <laughs> So that is called walling. So it cuts the walling lineage to form the Ariya lineage. Ariya means holy. That means the holy lineage. So like in the jhana, we say Gudrabhu is the chaita that cuts the Kama lineage no? to form the Mahagata lineage. Because this Gudrabhu is also Mahakusala chaita. No, Mahakusala Chaita, so it belongs to the Kama Chaita, so we say it is in the Kama lineage. 
Now this time, now this Mahagusla Chaita is arising, so, so uh, up to the time the Godrabhu arises, this person is still evolving. No? He is still evolving. So we say, no, he, he is in the evolving lineage. And soon after Godrabhu, Mega Chaita arises. As soon as Mega Chaita arises, we say this person is a noble person. No? So he becomes a noble person, a holy person. So he comes to the holy lineage. So we say it is the Chaita that casts the walling lineage to form the holy lineage. So we read no, number one in the middle paragraph of that page. When one of the three characteristics of existence enters the avenue of the mind door, no, that means the either a nature, dukkha, anatta no, appears in the mind door. We continue the mind door of a putujana walling. Then we continue reading the life continuum vibrates twice and becomes arrested. So this is represented by nada. And then, observing and considering the characteristics of existence, mano dwara vajana ma arises once. Then one of the four jnana sambhutam, maha kusala chaitas, observing the characteristics of existence, functions three times as prikama, upachara, and anuloma. And then, observing Nibbana functions once more as Kodrabhu. So you can take note here. No, the Prikama Upachara Anduloma, no, the, no, the, takes the characteristic, no, the characteristic sign. That is Anicca, Dukkha, or Anatta. But Kodrabhu takes Nibbana, no, as its object. So, Godrabhu is Mahakusala Chaita. So, you know, it is in this case when we say Mahakusala Chaita, you know, can see Nibbana. Can, can see Nibbana. So, it shows the way. This is Nibbana, it shows the way. Then, Megha and Pala Chaita, taking this Nibbana, they arise you know, after, after Godrabhu. So, we continue re reading. Then, Sotabhadi Megha Javana arises once, observing Nibbana. Then, without any lapse in time, the fusion of the Megha, that is Sota Pati Pala Chaita, functions twice as Apana Javana. Then, Bhavinga Chaita sinks into life continuum, and the person comes out of the Megha Vichy. Now, if the person is Optika Panya, that is quick wisdom person, Prikama is omitted and Pala Javana occurs three times. So that means in the above Vichy, no, you have to take the second Vichy no, for Tikha Panya. Okay. Now we go to page 142. Now please read the first sentence. Once a person becomes a noble person, he is never rewarded back to evolving again. So that is no, that should be our objective to become a stream winner. No, to become a stream winner. So once you become a stream winner, you will never be rewarded to evolving again. No. And you are totally you know, the completely guaranteed never to be reborn in the woeful abodes again. So if you wish, you can be born in the sense sphere, that is in the human realm and celestial realm for seven times. So that means you can be you know, born as human being for seven times if you like to. So that means you can still watch you know, the, the Korean movie, Chinese movie, and take the Chinese noodle if you wish to. But you can also enjoy the Nibbana bliss as much as you like. You know? So after seven existence, if you wish, you can still, no, you can still be born in the Brahma realm. But during this time, automatically the higher 
the higher mega and flood will arise automatically. You don't need to do the vipassana anymore. So automatically, you, know, you will attain the higher mega and flood, and you will become arahat finally and go to nibbana. So that's why we say to become a noble person is much, much better than you not know, to become the, the, the king of deva or to become a universal monarch and much better to, to attain that super normal power. <laughs> so try to become a sin winner. Then we continue reading. Oh. Now we continue reading. So as we said, the stream winner will not be reverted to evolving again. So here it say, thus Kutrabhu has to cut the walling lineage only once. So in later Megha and Pala, we teach war, war dana, meaning purification, is inserted in place of Go Kutrabhu. Now we read the second, the <clears throat> number two, to realize the second Megha and Pala, the Sotapanna stream winner, who has realized the first Megha and Pala, has to meditate on the three characteristics of existence again. When the second Megha Vichy arises, it runs you know, as above, that is as on page 141. The only changes necessary are Vodhana in place of Godrabhu and Skadagami Megha in place of Sotapati Megha and Skadagami Pala in place of Sotapati Pala. So that means you know, the once you become a stream winner, then you can undertake Vipassana again. So when you, you take Vipassana again, you have to, you know, to see those men, uh, the mentality, material in the body arising, dissolving. Then you, you know, meditate, anicca, 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 dukkha, 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 anatta, anatta again, just like before. Now you develop you know, the, the ten insight knowledge again, the second time. Then, after you can develop the ten insight knowledge, then the, the mega you know, cognitive series arises as in page 141. Like on page 141, you just look on page 141. So this time, you know, your, your mega which would be na da ma Pa u nu, so instead of go there, you just change it into wo, no, b o wo. Then your mega would be now the saka dagami mega. And pala pala would be saka dagami pala pala. No, so in the take up panya with wisdom person, so it would be na da ma u nu, wo, mega, pala pala pala, three times. No? So, now this person becomes, we say, so the next paragraph, no? on page 142, after this second mega Vichy, the person becomes Iska Dagami, or Iska Dagam, we call him once Ritana, as he will be reborn just one more existence in the sense sphere. In the sense sphere mean either as a human being or as a celestial being. Okay. Yes, continue.